So we are going to be looking at, well, I can't show you the inside, but the new Stampin' Up! catalog products that came in my pre-order, this is what we're going to be looking at. This is what I, I brought all this stuff with me on our vacation to show you. <laughs> How fun is that? Oh my goodness, hello, hello, I see from all over the U.S. joining today. That is so fun. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome. I think I'm just a moment early. I can't actually see a clock from where I am, and the clock in here isn't even set correctly, so <laughs> whatever. <laughs> okay, so we have about a minute until we are officially at the top of the hour, so when that happens, then uh, we will give a welcome and we will go live for sure with all our new goodies here. I can't wait to show you everything. Yes, thank you. Thanks for joining everyone. Oh my goodness, there are some, there's 89, 91 names that have, have logged on. So I'm sorry, I can't say hello to everybody, but welcome everyone. So glad that you're here. It's really nice to have you joining. So uh, yeah, as you can see, I am in a hotel. I brought all my new stuff up here to show you. And yeah, dedication, Patty, that's, that's what it is. <laughs> it was funny, yesterday when I packed all of this up and we were loading up the car, I said, why didn't I just go live a day early before we left? And then I wouldn't have had to bring all this stuff. But I didn't even, it didn't occur to me because Fridays is my live, so there we go. <laughs> so just wanted to say again, welcome everyone. I think we we're at the top of the hour, so I am going to go ahead and just say welcome. I'm so glad that you're joining me. We are going to be looking at the new products that I got in my pre-order, my demonstrator pre-order from the brand new catalog. It's gorgeous. Look at this cover. This suite called Hues of Happiness, I have some of the products here to show you and some samples that I brought as well. This is my favorite from the catalog. So I love it and I hope that you are going to love everything as well. So let's just jump in and what I want to show you first, this is whenever I get a new catalog, this is what I love to just jump in and work with first. And that is the new in colors. So I have ink pads, I have markers, I have cardstock, I have accessories, stamp and blends in the new colors. And so look at these gorgeous, vibrant colors. They are amazing. When you start working with them, you're just going to be like, what? These are gorgeous. I don't know about you, but I always think catalogs can never 100% capture just how amazing a new product is. I mean, it, it rarely can capture the amazingness, right? So having this in person and just starting to stamp with it, color with the blends, make a few samples, then you really get a sense of how amazing they are. And so what I did was the first thing, I got out my new Stampin' Blends, and you might have seen this on my um, Instagram. I went ahead and just swatched the, the new colors. The first thing I noticed was that I thought I was going to totally mourn the loss of Misty Moonlight, our retiring in color. I mean, for like months, I've been thinking, I'm never going to live without Misty Moonlight. But the thing I noticed was these two new blues, or actually the Orchid Oasis is a, a little bit of a, like a periwinkle-ish, purple-ish. These are going to be my new beautiful mid-tone blue colors that will help me <laughs> with the loss of Misty Moonlight. So if you are like me and you are just so sad about the loss of Misty Moonlight, I think you're going to love these two new shades. So let's just look at the new colors really quickly. So Tahitian Tide, if you've been around a while, you're probably recognizing this as very close to Tempting Turquoise. So if you were a Tempting Turquoise fan, you will love that. Sweet Sorbet. And I'm just kind of tilting it around because I know it's it's overcast, but the light is coming in pretty bright. So this is a really pretty, um, it's like an orange-ish poppy parade. So uh, this, I think, will go really nicely with that. We have Parakeet Party. 
and it's kind of in between a lemon lime twist and a granny apple green. I absolutely love this color. I think it's amazing. And then those two blues I was talking about. So Starry Sky is the deeper one and Orchid Oasis is the purple-ish, periwinkle-ish, bluish one. So you can see that they're close, but they really complement each other. So I look through those, I swatch my Stampin' Blends, I stamp something with my new ink pads, and then I start to explore all of the other products. So here are, I'm trying not to wiggle the table or the camera because because I know you should see my phone, which is what I do my lives from is this is so funny. It's balanced on top of my Yeti drink cup. I have two straws sticking up like antennas that's balancing the camera. And then we have the ad for the casino or the whatever holding the camera up from the back. I mean, this is really professional, but anyway, I'm trying not to jiggle. So here are the blends, all five colors, beautiful, beautiful light and dark of each one. They're so gorgeous. So amazing. So let me show you something that I did to help me. Uh, what should I show you first? There's so many things on this table. Um, I'm going to wait till we get to hues of happiness. Let's look at this first. So let's talk about in colors. All right. And I know it's backwards. I apologize. Use your imagination and, and let's try to read backwards, right? So this is the biggest wished wish stamp set. I've stamped hello friend, happy, happy birthday with all five in colors right down the side of that panel. And this card and envelope are actually one of the new in color cards and envelopes. We're gonna look at that in just a minute, but pre-printed in the five in colors. And look how pretty, look how fun that card is. Wouldn't anyone love to get that? Oh, my husband's over here. He's making faces at me. So I'm not sure if that was a, it's really cute, honey, or I don't want that card. I'm not sure what that face was. <laughs> anyway, another new product on here, which we're going to look at, is the In Color Glimmer Paper. So I have used the Daisy Punch, and this is the Ladybug Punch for the wings that I use to make the leaves. So let's look at those. This is that Glimmer Paper. It's a six by six stack in the five colors. You get several sheets of each. I just brought one of each so that my bag wouldn't be totally heavy, but can you see the glimmer, right? So it's like glittery. And then see how each page is ombre? So you get everything from a light to a dark in each color. So you have several of each in a pack and aren't they beautiful? So that is what I used to punch the daisy and that flower in the leaves. And then on this one, I used it to punch the ladybug because I decided that a ladybug doesn't have to be black and red. So I used the darkest part of the orchid oasis color for the body. And then I used the lighter part of sweet sorbet for the wings. And then I used my Stamparatus, and this is called hinge step stamping when you use your Stamparatus to evenly space. This and this, these two samples, will be on pattystamps.com tomorrow. That's my blog. So what did you say today was the 8th? 9th. 9th. Today's the 9th, evidently. You know when you're on vacation, like you have no clue, right? So anyway, today's Friday, the 9th, we think it's the 9th. It's maybe the 8th. We don't know. It's Friday. It's Friday. <laughs> Tomorrow, Saturday, these will be on my blog so that you can get all the information and the close-up photos and all of that. But I have a link to a video I did about hinge step stamping so that, thank you, today's the 8th. Thank you, everybody. So tomorrow on the 9th, these cards will be there. And I have a video link for hinge step stamping if you haven't seen that. It's with the Stamparatus. And it's really quite easy, but it's a great way to get evenly spaced images. So here is the Parakeet Party version of that in-color card. And then this, can you see that? The Tahitian Tied New Ribbon. So let me show you how gorgeous these are. Those are the new in-color ribbons. 
and they're sparkly, they're, they're very thin, and they are super, super pliable and soft. And if you want to make it wider, you can, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> you can pull these apart. You can spread it. It's a, you know, like a woven mesh type. We've had other ribbons that do this. So you can pull it apart and make it wide, or you can just do that and make it back to skinny. You could fray the end for a little kind of a tassel look. So very, very pretty, the five in colors, they're gorgeous. And so we looked at the glimmer paper. So I wanted to show you these in color cards. Yes, great ribbon, Diane, it is, it's wonderful. So the five new in colors also come in these cards. They're pre-scored and only printed on the front panel. So the inside is white, the back is white, and you have the printed front panel. So here are what the, the five patterns look like. And you get multiples, you get 20 in the pack. So you get lots. And you get the matching, I think it's, is it 20 cards and 20 envelopes or 20 total? I have to look, I have to look in the catalog to be sure, but I will look in just a second. And then the envelopes are printed as well and they match the cards. Aren't they cute? Love these. Very versatile, very fun. Let me just look really quickly because it says quantity 20 on the packaging, but, and you can't see this, so I have to look down here. So I can't show you the inside yet. But sometimes 20 means 10, 10 cards, 10 envelopes. Sometimes it means 20 total. So let me just look. It's 20 cards and 20 envelopes in the pack. That's a big, big selection to work with. So that is the, the card and envelope pack and the, the glimmer paper we looked at. It's so beautiful. And the glimmer paper is six by six and you get well, why doesn't it say on the packaging how many you get? I have to look again. Have to look. I don't know it all by heart yet. Can you believe that? You get, oops, no, hope you didn't see that. I'm trying to lift it up in the light so I can read it. 20 sheets, so you get four each of each of the five in colors in the glimmer paper. And you might be used to the glimmer paper that's in the current catalog is 12 by 12. The only negative to that, yes, I'm in a hotel, Caroline. <laughs> yes, we are uh, just on a little mini vacation and we are in a hotel. So yeah, I brought all this new stuff up here to show you on vacation, isn't that crazy? Yeah. Um, oh, so the current glimmer paper is 12 by 12. The drawback I have found to that is that it takes twice this distance to get like from dark to light. And so you either, you seem to get like an all dark image or an all medium image or an all light image if you're using a punch or a die cut. This way, you've got half that distance to go from dark to light. And so when you're using a punch or a die, I kind of feel like you're getting more of a representation of the, um, the ombre effect of it. So I like that it's six by six. That, I mean, that's just like my opinion. It's you know, take that or leave it, whatever you like. <laughs> so one last thing on here that I want to show you. Do you see on the wings of the ladybug in the center of the flower, do you see those sparkly gems? So I wanted to show you those. And they are called glossy dots. This is what the package looks like. Four colors. And I don't know, can you see how they're like almost holographic? They're really interesting. They're just really, really vibrant, glossy dots. So that is a new product. It's not in colors, but I think this one is Tahitian Tide and it did go with the, these cards. So that's what I used. So that's that. And, oh, one more in color product and then, oh, and then two more samples and then we'll move on to the other products. This is the new 
in color uh, twine, Baker's twine. Isn't it cute? Look at those fun colors. And it wasn't available on my very first pre-order when I stayed up to order the first night that it went live. So this just came before we left. And I was going to use it on these next two cards that I'm going to show you, but I didn't have time yet. So I'm going to play with that this afternoon here in the hotel room. <laughs> but isn't it cute? I love, love this. It's very cute. Very, very cute. <clears throat> so let me show you. I made two slimline cards to kind of help myself just really get a feel for the in colors. And one thing I wanted to do was stamp the in color ink onto the in color cardstock. And that's what I did here. It's a different look than stamping on white. So do you see, those are the five in colors. Isn't that cute? And I used, this is a new punch. It's a bottle punch or a jar, whatever you'd like to call it. And this is the stamp set. So you can stamp or you can stamp and punch and you can also make shaker cards because there's a cute little dome. Isn't that fun? All right, so what I used was this stamp and this stamp and then this stamp. So those three, now I'll show you. I'm just gonna hand those to my helper. So on this slim line, I stamped the outline and then that smaller stamp, which either could be a label or it could indicate that your jar has some liquid in it. And yeah, somebody mentioned the bubbles. So I just put some gems at the top, like little fizzy bubbles coming out. And what I wanted to do, which I haven't, didn't have time, was to add a little Baker's Twine bow to one of these. I thought that would be cute. It's very hard for me to do super simple cards. And to me, this is just overly simple and I want to keep embellishing. It's hard. It's hard for me. And it goes, it fits in our slimline envelope. Very cute. And then I did one where I added a couple more colors to a vertical slimline and I wanted it to be more of a rainbow. So this is the five in colors, but I added Mango Melody, Daffodil Delight, Melon Mambo, and Gorgeous Grape to the five in colors to make a little more of a rainbow. And it's sort of an unexpected rainbow because you know normally you would think maybe it'd be horizontal. And then on this one, so for each of these, I stamped that kind of filled in image on top of the outline and then punched it because I just wanted, again, to see how the colors looked ink on cardstock. So those were two more in color samples that I did. And these will be on my blog soon. Those other, those first two will be on my blog tomorrow, the 9th. We determined that tomorrow is the 9th. Oh, I'm just going to keep that here. Thank you. And let's see, just checking. Oh, one more in color product is, I have to take it out so you can see them, all the colors. In color dots. Aren't these fun? I'm trying to just get them to catch the light so you can really see the colors. So those are the five new in colors. They're called in color dots. Do they have an official name? Matte decorative dots. And I like that, I think it was my friend Tammy, I think that was pointing this out to me, is that you have them in threes. And a lot of times we put our embellishments onto our projects in threes. So it, this way you kind of are using them up in an equal fashion. So I thought that that was a really great point about using them in threes. Let's see, there, there was a question, let me just look. Yes, my slimline cards, I have posted that multiple times on my blog. The, this is the best measurement I have found for a slimline. So in the for the Stampin' Up! slimline envelopes, okay? So I leave it at eight and a half. So that's the width of my cardstock. I cut it this way at seven and a half. Uh, no, at seven, sorry, seven. And then this is three and a half. And then it's just folded. So that it's just the simplest way for me to do a slimline card. 
So that, it, and it, it'll be on my blog when I blog those. But yeah, I've posted that on each slimline post because I think that it's important to, to have it ease, to be easy. Um, yes, Tammy, love that, right? Was that you that was saying that, Tammy? I think it was you. I think we were talking about that. Let's see. Yes, I have a wonderful helper. You are right. <laughs> oh, yes, and that's true. So Patty Sharkey is saying that, um, and I think they've done this with other embellishments as well. So let me just show you this. That each, get my fingers under here to show you. See how each little section is on its own piece of acetate? So if you were doing uh, maybe a class or a project and you just wanted to pull off one of those, you could do that rather than having the whole selection out at a time. Or if you wanted to just pack up one color and take it with you, or you wanted to give a color to a friend, it comes off very easily. I did notice that. Thank you, Patty, for that reminder. I noticed that as well. Let's see. Yes, and I use the leftover section, you're right, uh, Robin, for other projects as well. Oh, thank you, Monica. So kind of you. Thanks, Sheila. Glad you're here. Okay, so if you are just tuning in, yes, I'm in a hotel room. I brought all of my new stuff up here in the car on vacation to show you all during this live. Crazy? Quite possibly. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Barb is asking, does the, no, the glitter does not come off. So a few years ago, and I can't swear to you exactly what year, but Stampin' Up! somehow got some process so that on this glimmer paper, you can rub, rub, rub all you want. No glitter comes off. Nothing falls off. It doesn't get everywhere. And if you know me, if you have hung with me for many years, you know I do not like loose glitter. I love the way it looks. I don't like to work with it. I don't like it in my contacts. I don't like it on me. I don't like it on my desk. This, you don't have to worry about it. So the Stampin' Up! Glimmer paper, any glimmer paper they do, you can rest assured it does not. I mean, I'm looking at my hand. There is not one single little flake of glitter. Fabulous. It's, it's almost like they knew that I wasn't going to use it if it was loose. Not that they care. I'm just saying, being funny. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to scroll back. I just want to see if there were questions I've missed. If I missed your question, you can please repeat it. I don't mind at all if you want to repeat your question because sometimes they go by really quickly. Okay, so let's look at... I just have the designer paper sitting here, like it wasn't in any particular order, but that's the order I'm gonna walk through some of these products with you. So my favorite, Hues of Happiness, I wanna show you what I think makes this paper like the bomb. Let me find, hang on, I don't wanna wiggle the camera. In fact, Eric, could you put this whole thing down here on this chair because I'm just afraid that that whole camera pick it up carefully it's wiggling okay yeah I don't want to like upset the whole apple cart here so we're just gonna do we're, we're just rearranging for a minute sorry it's hard when you're not in your space and you're not used to you know your space like anyway yeah so okay so the the happiness abounds you know that this is going to be one of my favorites because, sorry, if you can hear that, there's a train yard, literally, huge train yard out this window. And what's fun is that I know, because of tracking my Stampin' Up! packages, that my Stampin' Up! UPS packages come through this train station in Reno from Salt Lake down to the Bay Area. And it's almost fun to be like, my package is probably on that train car. So I'm sorry if you hear a weird noise. That's what it is. It's a train. Anyway, so if you know me, you know I love flowers. So here we go. Happiness abounds. Favorite, favorite. Love this set. 
There are dies that go with it. Those little blue things are just post-it tabs because I've already been using them and die cutting with them. The absolutely fabulous thing about this is not only do these dies die cut these flowers, they die cut the floral images on the paper. Can you believe this? So all of these, look at this rainbow of gorgeousness. All of those you can die cut with the dies. And I made one quick card to show you. So there's just an example of stamping the flower in the background from the set and then adding those die cut flowers from the designer paper on top of it. So it started as this and then I added the die cut flowers. I mean, just how easy, how beautiful, right? It's just simple, right? Yes, I'm at the nugget. <laughs> Gian asked if I'm at the nugget again. Yes, we are. So that is just a quick example of how you could do a really quick card and just put those die cut flowers on top. I mean, I just think that these two sheets, could I just have a pack of like 40 of these sheets? That's beautiful. And even the back, look at the back. Both of them have this gorgeous ombre of, um, I, I'm guessing this is like acrylic on canvas. I, I bet, I don't know if you can see, but it definitely has a texture of as if it were done on a canvas. And I think that's what this would have been. Beautiful, the artist that does all of our paper is just so amazing. And then I'll show you real quickly just a few of the other prints. So more beautiful flowers, beautiful ombre, some dots tiny flowers and look in a whole rainbow some little blue flowers or blue background with flowers look at this sheet oh my gosh so amazing more of that ombre background aren't these beautiful oh my gosh i hope this paper doesn't sell out i'm telling you and there we go so that's a look at those the Hues of Happiness collection, the, the designer paper, the stamp set, and the dies. And I believe, oh man, like I'm out of space already. I'll do that. I believe I should look. Wait, let me look. I want to see what is the embellishment that was with this because I wanted to show you. Oh, and we might not have been able to order it. That's entirely possible. You can't see this, can you? I'm trying to keep it off camera. Okay, I've lost the page. Mr. Bennett probably should have had these pages ready for me. Wouldn't that have been handy dandy? Mr. Bennett knew the catalog. Mr. Bennett could have it memorized already, right? page one. <laughs> Why are you snorting at me? <laughs> uh, glossy dots. Glossy dots. Oh, we looked at those already. Yep. So these are the embellishment pack that, or this is the embellishment pack that goes with Hues of Happiness. And we already looked at it. That's why I couldn't find it here on my table. Um, just gorgeous. I mean, I'm just, I'm over the moon about that. It's so pretty. Yeah, Hues of Happiness is 12 by 12. Yes. Thank you, 109. Thank you, thank you. I'm just looking at the comments. Yes, love the colors. Better and better. You are right. Hi, Margaret. Welcome. She said it's her first time. So happy that you're here. So awesome. Okay, so let's look at um, more new goodies. So the Sweet Songbirds is adorable. And this is a punch bundle. So this punch is going to punch out the birdie and it's gonna be so cute in the nest and I can't wait to use this. I brought some ink pads and some white cardstock and I'm hoping to have time to stamp with that um, sometime this weekend while we're up here. 
Yes, they knocked it out of the park, Jennifer. You are so right. Oh, somebody just said it's her first. Hi, Paula, welcome. She said it's her first time. Welcome, so glad you're here. We're going over new products from the new catalog and I'm in a hotel. So yeah, if you're thinking like, oh, her stamp room has really changed. Mm. Yeah, I'm in a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, natural prints. Let's look at this beautiful bundle. Beautiful stamps, gorgeous sentiments. Look at those fonts. I love mixed font stamps. I think they're beautiful. And these dies, I'm going to show you particularly what I purchased this die set for, is this die, and it makes a gorgeous wreath. Absolutely love that. My husband's giving it the once over like, mm-hmm. <laughs> but I love that. And the paper that goes with that, I believe it's is sun prints, right? I believe it is. Let me look. Let me look. Because I don't want to tell you the wrong thing and have you order something in May and say, well, that wasn't correct. Sunprint Suite 9091. I can't show you the inside of the catalog yet, which is why I'm holding it down here. But yes, this is correct. It goes with this paper. And this is so interesting. This is like that type of print. I don't know if you did this when you were a kid, but this one really shows it well. Did you ever collect leaves and put it on paper and then let the sun bleach out? That's what is, this is. This is that type of art. And I believe what Stampin' Up! said, it's called cyanotype because cyan is blue and I think that's what they called it. I guess that's this method. And I did not know that it had a name like that, but evidently that's what it is. So here are some of the beautiful prints. It's all in the blue and the gray granite. And I particularly love that blue stripe that's in it. Isn't that just, I don't know, that really speaks to me in addition to all the prints. But you have a nice variety there of blue, Blueprints. Oh, blueprints. Yeah. I Did you know? I used to be the blueprint girl when I was 14 at an architectural and engineering firm. I was the blueprint girl. I ran the blueprints. That's what this reminds me of is blueprints back in the olden days. That was the olden days. Um, but yeah, I love that, that kind of effect. It's really something different for Stampin' Up. I don't remember anything quite like that, but it, I think it's really, really pretty, really stunning. And, oh, the embossing folder that goes with that. Oh, don't tell me I left that at home. Oh, man, because, hang on, let me just look again, because, oh, here it is. I didn't leave it at home. Okay, it's the Fern embossing folder. So the package looks like that. But I went ahead and embossed it because I wanted to show you. Okay, so the embossing, oh, you can see the embossing folder probably better than the embossed image. But let me try and catch the, there you go. You can kind of see the shadows on it. So I just did it in the parakeet party. This is the embossing folder that goes with it. And then I grabbed parakeet party ink and I used a blending brush so these are both, look, if you look at the back, you can see, I'm not lying to you, these are both Parakeet Party. But you can see the difference when you add Parakeet Party ink and you blend ink on there and it kind of catches the indents so that it gives you those shadows. And I thought that was really cool. So you can use that in a number of ways. And then, I don't, this is kind of really bright light. I hope this shows. I was thinking, oh, that looks like Granny Apple Green. Let me tell you something, it's way different. Look at the difference. There's Granny Apple Green in the front. That almost looks like Old Olive, doesn't it? Isn't that crazy how, at least for me, it was really tricking my eye because I really thought that this looked like Granny Apple Green and then I was like, oh, well, I was wrong. <laughs> but uh, there you go, it's a good comparison. So yeah, I wanted to show you that. And that folder is part of the 
uh, that suite of products. Okay, so up next, let's look at the teacup. Adorable teacup set and dies. Really cute. Super fun. Mother's Day, parties, bridal showers, people who love tea, whatever. Really cute. And the package of paper that goes with it is six by six. You get four of each patterns. So they, they range in, you know, lots of different patterns from teacups to lemons to flowers, all sorts of different patterns. And then the back, some of these go with those in color cards that I was showing you earlier. Do you remember those that we looked at? So some of those patterns represent that. So you can mix and match this with those note cards, which is really kind of fun. And this is six by six, you get 48 pieces in that six by six stack. So again, you know, everything from florals to plaids, dots, teacups, um, I was gonna call them olives, they're lemons. I, I do know the proper words. Stripes, uh, more flowers, oh, teapots, this is cute. Look, little teapots. This almost reminds me of a sheet of postage stamps. Wouldn't that be cute with the postage stamp punch? These are like tongue twisters sometimes. The postage stamp punch. Wouldn't that be cute? Punch that out, make your own little faux postage stamps. I think that would be cute. Let's see, I just saw. Yeah, cyanotype with first graders, right? But did you know that that was the name? I didn't know it had a name. I didn't know that. Yes, DSP, I did bring that in the in colors. Thanks for that reminder. Let's look at that. Let me give this back to my, to my helper. So the in color designer paper six by six stack, this also coordinates with those note cards, the in color note cards. So you can see it has the same type of patterns. Some of them are similar, some are different. And these are the four new patterns for any of the color family six by six stacks. So the, we always seem to have six by six stacks in each color family, but sometimes those four patterns change. And so this is evidence of new patterns this year, four new patterns. So thank you for that reminder. Let me just see here. Yes, Louise, thank you for that reminder. Yes, Louise said she thought that looked like Granny Apple Green as well. I know, wasn't that deceiving? That was funny. You are welcome. I'm glad you're enjoying this. Let's see. Cupcake DSP. Cupcake DSP. I'd, I don't know about Cupcake DSP, Louise. I'm sorry. Uh, maybe I'm not thinking of that, of the right thing. Uh, I will have to look in the catalog because that's not ringing a bell. Okay, another new die. This does not go with a bundle or a suite or anything. It's just a standalone. It's called Dots and Spots. I have not used it yet, I am assuming. It just die cuts little polka dots. And I think that's going to be fun to try out. So I will definitely be using that. Helper. It's too busy over here. Um, fabulous frames. Check this one out. So this big rectangular frame, this beautiful ornate frame, a little label and an oval, and then you have four corners that you can, well, actually eight, because that's one, two, three, four. So eight corners that you can die cut as well. Love that. And then this, I think, is going to be a staple for everyone. So this is called Stylish Shapes. So you have your stitched circles, your stitched squares, and then four stitched banners. And these are going to just be a staple. I'm, I'm pretty sure, right, that Stampin' Up! did discontinue our square shapes. I kept them, but I, this will help, you know, take care of missing those. You're welcome, Melissa. You're welcome. Let's see, was there... Oh, okay, good question. Robin is asking or Susan, I don't know, there's two names there. How did I put the bottles in such a straight line? Let's let's talk about that, I'm happy to share how I do this. So we'll do this one first and I'll tell you what I do. 
So do you see how I've layered white cardstock on top of the Orchid Oasis on top of the white card? Okay, so my smallest layer, this white piece, I measured it from side to side. And I think it was eight or eight and a quarter inches or I think it was eight. Yeah. So the center of that would be four. So the center bottle is going to go in the middle. Under this bottle, I have a little tick mark with a pencil. I placed the first bottle there. Then I did the sweet sorbet and the mm, starry sky. Sorry, couldn't think of it for a minute. On the edges. And then it's easy to just place these two in the middle. That's how I did it. And as far as making it like straight across the bottom, I eyeballed this distance right here under the bottle. Um, you know, you could make a line on there and then you could erase it if you wanted to. Um, there's also a way, <laughs> my husband's probably going to laugh at this, but back in the days when I used to work, he used to be my boss, okay? We did structural drafting together for years. There is a way to put your ruler or your scale at a diagonal and make tick marks at equal spaces. You can do that and you can find equal spacing for any size, any number. You can do that. Maybe I'll do a video on that sometime, but for this, remember doing that for spacing the joists, yeah, or the roof trusses. Um, so you can do that or for five, it's just really easy. Do the middle, put your end pieces on, and then you have nowhere else to go but to center those two. So that's how I did that. This, I did the bottom two corners. I did the top two corners. I filled in those two center ones, and then I just placed these three. And I just totally eyeballed across each one. So I did not measure or make a line, but you totally could draw lines. So um, I think somebody asked about the, what labeler? I use my brother P-Touch. I know it's backwards, I'm sorry, but all of my labels are done with a brother P-Touch. So I label that and this. And there are several models. Mine is called a cube, and it literally is like a little cube, and it's just a little box. And everything is done on my phone, Bluetooth. So you type in on your phone what you want it to say, You, if you want it to have a border, like whatever. It, there's lots of options. And then you click print, and it comes out of this cube. So that's the one I have. You can get them on Amazon, but it's by Brother. And mine is called a P-Touch, P-Touch Cube. There's lots of models, though. You know, you can get whichever one works the best for you. And I've talked about this a lot of times, but I'll just mention it if you're new to my channel. This is the Stampin' Storage Magnet Card, and it's their pocket for holding them. And a tip, a lot of people want to assume this is the front. See how it's cut lower? Can you see that? The, it's cut lower. But I always put it on the back because I want my entire piece covered with the full height plastic on the front. I, If you flip it, okay, if you flip it, you run the risk of little pieces up here coming off as you're like taking this in and out of your storage system or something. So I always flip them this direction. Okay, just a little tip for you. And it's Stampin' Storage. Um, I have the link on my blog. If you go to pattystamps.com, you click on my craft room at the top, there's a whole list, like 30 posts of all of my storage systems. And when it says how I store my Stampin' Up dies, that's where you have all the links to this if you if you have not yet clicked on that so that's that's that that was a long detour but i hope i answered your questions <laughs> how thick are the magnet cards well i don't know like the technical i don't know like they're that thick like a sixteenth of an inch mr bennett said they might be more they might be i don't know they're, no? Oh, okay. The boss says they're a sixteenth of an inch. I don't know. I'm sure it says on the stamp and storage site. So I wouldn't want to give you wrong information, but, but the boss says. 
No, I did not use the Stamparatus on on the bottle cards. I used the Stamparatus on this card, the hinge step stamping. But you can totally use the Stamparatus if you wanted to. Um, these are punched out though, so that would be harder to 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 do to do that with. I'm not sure how you do that with the Stamparatus. Those are punched out. Let me just check for other comments or questions. Let's see. Yes, you can use a T-square or a T-ruler. Exactly, you can totally do that. That would be a great tip. And okay, I think I got, I'm caught up with the questions. So let's keep going. I have more new products to show you. This I love, the Wisteria Bundle. So there's a stamp set and dies for the Wisteria. And I'll tell you a quick story. This will eventually be on my blog. We have a huge Wisteria in our backyard and it was actually like covering half the back of the house and going around the corner, like in front of my office downstairs. And every year we have lived there since 2008. So how many years is that? Like 24 years, I think. I think so. Every year, my son stands in front of our wisteria on his birthday and I take his picture. And so I have all those years worth of pictures of him in front of our wisteria. And we do that because his birthday's in late March and that's when it blooms. And so I can't wait to make a blog post with, you know, this image and his pictures. And I'm going to share that with you. But um, yeah. Oh, so Paula says it only blooms once in the spring. It depends where you live and what your weather is because ours bloomed three times last year and the year before that it bloomed twice. I think it just depends on how much rain you got, how much sun you got. Um, but yeah, mostly like March, April in the San Francisco Bay Area is when it will bloom. Let's see, were there other questions here? My haircut is really cute. Thanks. I haven't changed it, but thank you. Don't even say that. Be quiet. Okay. Um, yeah, too hot in Texas, I'm sure. Yeah, it's it's more of a... Well, not necessarily, because Southern California has some huge wisteria. So, yeah, um, they get pretty hot. Let's move on. Let's look at this one. Sending. This is really fun. So the word sending, you can die cut it or stamp it or a combination. And then there's all these little greetings that you can pair it up with. So like sending smiles across the miles or whatever. And you can make all sorts of different sentiments with that. And then there's also flowers. And then you have the die cuts that give you a little banner or can die cut the flowers. So that is going to be a fun one to use as well. And then let's see, these go with this designer paper. So let me show you this one first so I can get it off the pile. This is called Perfectly Penciled. And to my knowledge, this does not go with a particular stamp set or suite or anything. It's just all black and white. And it's got some beautiful flowers. It's got background patterns. You can color this. You can use oh, you can use stamp and blends. You can use uh, watercolor pencils. You could use blending brushes, or you can completely just leave it black and white. So this will be a fun pack to use and combine with all sorts of different things. Last. Well, I was going to say last year, but it's still current through May 2nd. The current catalog actually has, oh, and I can show you that because I can show you the inside of the current catalog. Uh, it has a hostess. So this pack of paper has lots of black and white patterns, but this is not going to be available after May 2nd. So I think this black and white kind of it takes the place of having these beautiful patterns. So whenever you have an order of 150 or more, or you combine it with friends or at a party, you qualify to purchase any of these if you'd like. You can also purchase anything else in the catalog. But Hostess items require a minimum of 150 to be able to purchase these. And if you want to use your Hostess money on that, 
or excuse me, Stampin' Rewards, um, then that's one of the great packs that you can purchase currently. And by the way, while I'm just putting this away, I just want to tell you that I have been a demonstrator for over 26 years. It'll be 27 years in June. And every new catalog is so exciting to me. It is so fun to get in the mail or at an event, at a Stampin' Up! event. I, I, the excitement has not changed in all these years. I love getting my new catalog. So this new catalog is something that demonstrators were able to get early um, and then we could order them this past week as well. So I have, I won't even tell you how many huge boxes are in our house right now, 450 catalogs ready to mail to my current customers. And it is so fun to look through the new catalog. So if you are not a demonstrator and you do not have your catalog early and you have not pre-ordered early, you might want to think about joining Stampin' Up! If you have a demonstrator you work with, ask your demonstrator about joining. If you don't have a demonstrator you work with, I would love to help answer your questions. But it is such a fun perk of being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator is getting the catalog and then getting to order early. Just had to, just had to tell you. Uh, what sleeve do I use for my paper? It is from Stampin' Storage, the same company that I get the magnet cards and the die sleeves. So that they're really lovely. They come in 12 by 12 and they come in eight and a half by 11 horizontal or landscape and also eight and a half by 11 vertical. Okay, you might think, wait, why is this upside down? I'll tell you why. Because in my slots, my cubes, where I have all my slots, they're piled up like this. And so then, see, it's the right direction. So I just look down on all the little tabs in my slots and then I can see that. So that's, that's why, <laughs> that's why they're that way. <laughs> uh, let's see, there was another. Oh, the prints, I can show you those again. Oh, but I handed them to Mr. Bennett. So he's gonna have to dig those out of the pile. The six by six in color designer paper pack. He's, he's got everything all set over there. So he'll look for that and I'll show you those again. So while he's looking for that, let me show you this really interesting paper. It's that top one. Thank you. So this paper is called Brush Stroke and there's three colors, so three sheets, three 12 by 12. Look at this interesting pattern. It's almost like upholstery. And I think the easiest one to see is this dark one, but it does have three different colors. Each one has, it's so hard to see it on the light one, but each one has this beautiful pattern and that's just called brush stroke. And, and I think it's gonna be really interesting to play with. So I wanted to show you that since I had it in my pre-order. By the way, you might be thinking, why does she have this kind of eclectic collection of items? in the pre-order. So Stampin' Up! allows demonstrators to order a certain limited list of items from each new annual catalog. And so I think I got almost everything on that list. I didn't actually bring 100% of all the new stuff because that would have taken a whole nother tote bag. But anyway, um, I, I brought most of it to share with you. Let's see. I saw a question go by. Yes, Christmas, definitely, Patricia. It's like Christmas, it definitely is. The die, yes, the die from Hues of Happiness is what they die cut these flowers from on the cover. Yes, this is the designer paper and they die cut those from the Hues of Happiness paper. Yes, you are absolutely correct. Let's see. Peg says, I'm a demonstrator and I can't find the new ribbon. What page is the new ribbon on? Well, I will tell you. Wait, I haven't put it down here because you cannot see it, right? It's on page 146. 146 is the new in-color ribbon. Okay. 
Um, oh, thank you. Tanya was answering that as well. It, it's thicker than mulberry paper. It looks like mulberry paper, right, Vicki? It does, but it's more like um, just a thinner weight designer paper. It's not as, um, like to me, mulberry paper was almost more of uh, fabric, and this is more paper. And for, if you're tuning in late, I'll just show you again, the in-color ribbons we were talking about that Peg just asked about, these are the in-color ribbons we were just talking about. They were part of this pre-order. Um, this, this is just sort of random. I just wanna show you these. This is the in-color set that was new last year and is continuing through 2023. And they are in-color opal rounds. So that was another item that we could order. And aren't they pretty? They're just kind of iridescent-y, opalish, and the very soft, very pretty. So that was just sitting here. I needed to show you that. And I don't know, I don't, I didn't show you this before, but the in colors, I used four of the five new in colors just to color that hues of happiness, just sort of random, just wanted to kind of test those out. And so asking about the in color patterns. So the in color patterns, there are four. So these little flowers, stripes, well, oh, something's, I don't know why it's doing that. It's like having a hard time focusing. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make you dizzy. That was weird. So flowers, stripes, plaid, and dots, kind of random dots. They're not equal um, polka dots, random. So those are the four patterns, and that's the same for all of the, yes, opal rounds. Did I say something else, Paula? Sorry. Yeah, sorry, those stripes were freaking the camera out. Um, these four patterns, sorry, there's like three conversations going at once. I apologize. Uh, <laughs> my husband's laughing at me like, how do you keep it all straight? The four patterns are the same for all color families this year. So you will have your brights, subtles, regals, and neutrals, plus the two in color packs. So six different packs, same four patterns, but then of course all of those um, different color families. Yes, great for masculine cards, exactly. Speaking of masculine, what a great segue, Paula, because we were just gonna talk about this. It's called He's the Man, and we have this really interesting designer paper I'm going to show you. No. And He's All That stamp set with the All That dies. Look at those great label dies in this, fabulous. And then I think this goes perfectly with it. We have this really cute brood for you Look at those cute cups and mugs and then dies that cut them out. They even cut out the little bubbly fizz that's spilling over the edge. We just saw a man at the buffet last night with a shirt. Like basically it was this all over his shirt. And so, of course, I mean, I had to tell my husband and son all about this set. And they're kind of like, mm -hmm, that's nice, honey. <laughs> anyway, I think this goes really well with this suite. It's not... A part of the suite, that's a separate purchase, but I, I think it goes really well with it. So let me show you this cool paper. There are two sheets and they are, I don't want them to fall out because look, they're already die cut. Let me see if I can just gently show you. See, they're all die cut already. So all you do is have to pop them out and they'll pop right out of this sheet. I love that you don't have to cut these up. Isn't that fun? So two sheets of that. And then let me show you the other patterns. So for your barbecue fans, we have barbecue, we have stripes. I don't wanna freak the camera out again, but we have stripes. Then we have cute spectacles and ties. And this is just, um, oh, it's, it's a plaid, but I don't know the exact name of this plaid, but I can see this being like a wool tweed jacket sort of a look. And we have cute cars and motorcycles. And the other side of this is kind of a basket weave. 
And then we have Argyle. And then another kind of a Argyle-ish pattern. And the last one is Camping and a plaid. So that's going to be a real fun one for the men in your life or for anyone who is a car aficionado or likes camping. Um, oh look, I just noticed. So in here there is one that has cheers with those beer mugs. So it does kind of coordinate with the beer. Uh, well, I'm going to call it the beer bundle, but I know it's not called that. It's called Brood for You. Yeah. So, oh my gosh, I think that's it. That's all the new stuff I brought to show you. I had six samples, had all these cute new things. Oh my goodness. I hope you enjoyed this. I have no idea what time it is. I don't know if we've like run over our hour by a lot or what time is it? I don't know. Or we're on vacation. We're on vacation. We don't know what time it is. <laughs> Let's see. We'll get the official time. 11.59. Oh, 11.59. We did it in an hour. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed all of that. Do you have questions for me on this? Uh, do you want to sign up to be a demonstrator to order this early? I, oh, my husband says yes. But, you yeah. know, he can't be. So there's that. You're welcome, Peg. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Oh, good, Tom. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Oh, great, Susan. I am so happy that you all had fun with this. Awesome. So again, I will have some of these cards on my blog tomorrow, Saturday, April 9th. And more of them, again, later closer to the new catalog. So this new catalog starts May 3rd. And it will go automatically to my regular customers. So if you've already been ordering regularly from me, then you're going to get one. And if you haven't, there will be an option on my blog next week to request one if you plan to order from me and be one of my customers. Now, I will say that there are some people I have mailed catalogs to for years who have never ordered. I consider that a catalog collector. And I just really can no longer afford to send them to people who never, ever order. So if you plan to be a customer, if you plan to place an order, I'd love to send you one. I'm sure you understand that from a business standpoint that it costs lots of money and time and postage to send years and years worth of catalogs if you are not a customer. So please contact your demonstrator if you want to uh, get a catalog. If you don't have a demonstrator, you are welcome to contact me next week through my blog. There will be a form that you can fill out on my blog for that. You're welcome. I'm so glad that you enjoyed the sneak peek and the new cards that I shared with you. And then you'll see some of those on my blog tomorrow. So have a wonderful weekend, everyone. And if you're a demonstrator and you have your pre-order, have fun stamping. I hope to get in a little bit of stamping time while we are here. And then I will be sharing more new things with you. So exciting. So yes, thank you. I see all the hearts going by. Thank you so much. That's always fun to see. And I appreciate you so much. This will be on my blog um, later, also on my YouTube channel later. I, I have to get home and download the video and get it all uploaded. So if you need the replay, it'll be here on my Facebook page for now. All right, so have a wonderful weekend. Have fun with your new products if you're already a demonstrator and have your pre-order, and I will check in with you next week. Bye.